A pregnant mother and husband huddled around their kids, protecting them from a deadly tornado. It happened Friday night in defiance as the storm roared toward them with 165 mile per hour winds. Five on your side, Justina Cornell spent time with that family today as they talked about surviving the storm. 2006, we built 16 years ago. Um, right before we got married, they dug the foundation for our house. From the ground up, Allison and Ethan Lowe built their safe haven, making this space a place of their own. We've picked out every hinge and doorknob. And forming a hub to protect their little ones. It's our entire marriage for the last 16 years and every beautiful memory happened here. However, 16 years of memories were gone in seconds. Our phones went off and had the, you know, alert. Friday night, an EF3 tornado came crashing through, and the Lubs' home in defiance was in its path. Heeding the warning, the family of five scurried to the basement. I heard the tornado, and I immediately said, we have to go into the corner. Within one minute, we're huddled in a circle, grabbing on as tight as we could around our kids, and just whispering to them, you know, stay calm, take deep breaths, it's gonna be okay. And when it hit, I mean, it sounded like the earth was falling in on us. What's left behind? A broken home and broken hearts. We walked out of here with nothing. Yet Allison Lopes says all that matters now is that her babies are okay, including the one she's expecting. Now the Lopes believe that if they didn't go down into the basement, it could have been much worse for their family. We would have been severely hurt if not killed had we not gone in the basement. More than a decade ago, they built this foundation. We went down into the basement. They had just excavated it and we practiced our first dance in the basement. And I still can remember that. And to then be down in the basement and not have our world come tumbling and have the basement hold us and save us and, and, and get us through the storm is, it's, I guess, come full circle. Even if parts came crumbling down, the Lopes say, the community support is what's holding them up. We've had so many overwhelming emotions over the last few days, but I think the prevailing emotion is gratitude. Justina Cornell, five on your side. This afternoon, we learned about the scope of the damage from the storms in St. Charles County. The tornado and other severe storms caused more than $3.4 million in damage. Officials examined 240 structures across the county. They say 26 were destroyed, 20 had minor damage.